do 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 okay uh, say private scanner in equals new scanner system dot in okay uh, do, 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 do. Okay, to get a non string So let's just say int uh, number uh, equals in dot next int And then instead of using um, a static number in here, if you put the variable int number of times to print, um, which you're getting uh, the variable from, you're basically saying. A, num uh, a number called number of times to print is equal to um, whatever is typed in to the console next. So we say we want it to do a certain amount of times, which is what the user is entered. So you can say uh, int less than number of times to print. And then i plus plus. Open and then put in system dot 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 message. Yeah, and that should work. Actually, we should need to mess with this is a thing. Oh, you really need that. I'm actually creating and getting anything in it. Okay, that should do. That should be fine. Mm, so, 
please enter how many times you want to print it out. 25 times. There we go. 25. So it's scanned in. It's after you've printed out the statement here. It's basically waiting for you here to type in an integer. Um, and if you, yeah, whatever you type in, basically it will put it into the for loop here saying it will do it as many times as you've typed it in. So, for example, we could do that again. Let's say, actually, I said it's at the bottom. Um, let's just say. So there's actually in the right place. Uh, print F. You printed out uh, There we go, you printed out a thousand messages, see? And then it basically turns what you type into a variable here. Um, obviously that can only be accessed locally because it's inside a method. If you declared it at the top, you could use it wherever. Uh, let's try it again, let's just do it. Uh, let's put it in. It's going to take a little while, there we go. Okay, there you go, that should clear that up a 